And Michael Smurfett has told Bloomberg that Ireland must meet its debt obligations. Speaking to Olivia Stearns, he also said that while it's best to leave the country's low tax rate unchanged, increasing it not entirely out of the question either. I would leave it in situ. But I did make a suggestion that we could raise the tax up to, say, 15 per cent for a period of three or four years uh, to those multinationals that could afford it. And those multinationals that couldn't afford it would be extempt if they made a, a reasonable case. That would have them sharing in some of the, the burden on the Irish uh, purse, if you will. But um, uh, that would be a contentious uh, matter because uh, once we had 15 per cent, it would be very hard to get Europe probably to agree to bring it back down. Do you think the government should have negotiated with senior bondholders to get them to share some of the losses? No. I, I think once the government gave the guarantee, uh, as I said, if, we, if, if the government knew what they knew now, they probably would have had a different whole approach to the banking situation. But they gave a blanket guarantee, and we as a nation can't get away from that. It's an obligation that we as a people have given uh, to bondholders. Uh, and if we were to walk away from that, why wouldn't other countries do the same? Uh, where, where is it going to end? The contagion would be massive. Who's going to invest in the Eurozone in bonds if, 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 if uh, national sovereignty guarantees are uh, waived or walked away from?